Hi everyone, it's Mike here. Now, last week I put a post up on my Facebook page saying to people that I've recently done a couple of top five videos and I wanted you to suggest other top five videos that I could do that you needed some help with. Now, the overall majority of the comments that I got back after putting the post up was that people were still desperately searching for ways to be inspired or to find inspiration to create art journal pages, um, work on colour schemes and also where to get quotes from for their art journal pages. People may have an image that they've already got that they want to marry up with a really good quote but just don't know where to go. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you my top five online sources for inspiration for art journal layouts, colour schemes and for quotes. Okay so the first place I want to show you on the internet is Pinterest. Now obviously a lot of people will already know this but it's a great place to start um, if you wanting to find any kind of images to give you some, fa some form of inspiration. So Literally, this is the website Pinterest. So this is the UK version. Um, let me just get rid of that for a second. Okay, so this is my Pinterest board. So all I need to do, if I want to find something, is just click on there and then type in art journal page. And it will go off and it will find art journal pages that you can use as inspiration to do a page for yourself. And it just goes on and on and on and on and on. As you can see. And you can just sit and go through these and find one that you like. Uh, what could be something that catches your eye with a colour scheme, it could be something that catches your eye with an image, it could be something like this one, where you like the fact that it's a silhouette and it's filled full of words. And that could be something that can just spark your imagination. This one is a good one as well. Again, quite simple to do, but could give you an idea. So Pinterest is a great place to find some form of inspiration that might spark your creativity into, I love this one. See the quote on there as well, it has quotes, absolutely brilliant. So this says, the world can be amazing if you're slightly strange. That could apply to most people, I think. So finding a, something on Pinterest to spark your imagination, to get ideas on colour schemes. Like you can pick colour schemes from pages, like this one here is all reds, browns and oranges. This one here is greens, some slight blues. This one here is oranges and blues and greens. You, you can literally just find anything, inspiration, to create some kind of page. Okay, so that's source number one. Quotes. If you're looking for a quote, and let me just go back to Google. Okay. If you're looking for a particular type of quote, so for example, let's just say quotes about butterflies. Go to Google and type in quotes about butterflies. And then just hit send and you'll find that it pulls up a list of quotes. Now if you click on the images section it's going to pull up lots and lots and lots of different um, quotes, probably taken inspirational ones, taken from Pinterest as well, that have quotes about butterflies on. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Please excuse the expletive on the screen, I'm not in control of what comes up. So Literally, there are tons of quotes about butterflies. Now you can say cats. And again, because you're already on the images, there are 
lots and lots of quotes about cats. And you might want something about sunsets. Again, there are lots and lots and lots of quotes about sunsets. So Google is an absolute great place if you're wanting to find a quick quote for any subject at all. Let's just change that to something completely, quotes about space. As you can see, there are lots of different quotes that you can use. So let's just say quotes about, I don't know, stairs. Strange one, but there you go. You've got lots and lots of different quotes. So if you have an image and you're struggling to find a quote that fits, go to Google and just type in quotes about and then whatever it is that you're searching for. Now, the other place that you can go to is a website called Brainy Quotes. So let me just click on Brainy Quotes, go to the website, brainyquote.com, and there you go. You can literally put in the search criteria the same sort of thing. So if you want a quote about, let's just say, for example, illness, then it will pull up lots and lots of quotes and it even tells you who said it about illnesses. So all you have to do is just to type in the word for something that you're looking for a quote for and it will be there. So let's just say, if I had illness, let's just say health. Again, you have lots and lots of simple quotes that you can use in your art journal pages that are right there at your fingertips. So if you already have an image and you're looking for a quote to fit, you can either go to Google, type in your quote there, or type in the thing, the subject that you want to find a quote for, and do the same thing on brainyquote.com. Now those are the two best places that I've found for finding inspiration for quotes. But you'll also find quotes on Pinterest too. So, so far we've gone Pinterest as number one, Google as number two, and Brainy Quotes for number three. So those three places are absolutely fantastic for finding inspiration on quotes and also on kickstarting an art journal page. Okay, so the next one, very, very easy. If you're wanting some inspiration about art journaling or an art journal page, go to YouTube. Uh, I'll just click on my channel. There are lots and lots and lots of different people on YouTube that are doing art journaling and mixed media. In the search, type in art journaling and see what happens. You'll find there are lots of different videos showing you start to finish processes. Oh look, there's me. Lots and lots of different processes um, for art journal pages that you can get inspiration from. I've said it many times before, I spent an entire year going through video after video after video, just trying to, oh, look, somebody familiar again, just watching videos on YouTube about art journaling. Uh, and I have a subscription list, people who I'm subscribed to on my YouTube that I watch on a regular basis. So even though I'm doing YouTube videos myself, I'm still watching other people on a regular basis. I never stop learning. So go to YouTube, do your, on, on YouTube now watching me, so go and find other people and subscribe to them. The more people you subscribe to, the more inspiration you will find. The other place that you can go to are any of the photo um, 
collation of photo, I want to use the word curation, the photo curation website. So Flickr, Instagram, that kind of thing. And in there, all you have to do is to type in art journal and see what comes up. And as you can see, my art journal pages are up there too, but there's others, again, hundreds, thousands of pages that you can look at for inspiration, for ideas about colour schemes, for quotes and that kind of thing. So Instagram is just as full as Flickr. So anywhere that curates and collates photographs will have quotes, will have photos of people's projects. So there you go. It might seem really, really obvious to most of you that you can go to Google and do an image search or a search on quotes. It might seem, you know, like I've not told you anything that you didn't know already, but there are some people out there that are still searching, that are still finding the way. So those are my top five online sources for inspiration on the internet. They're the places that I still go to, even though I've been creating art journal pages for well over a year now, but I still visit those places to find quotes, to find inspiration on colour schemes, on layouts. I still am learning too. And you should never stop learning either. So enough of that lecture. That's enough from me for today. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with all your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking that button at the end of the video. That's all from me for now. I will see you all again real soon.